All right, we're here with Jair Brown out of Lakota West High School, Jair. I mean, you're half, over halfway through the season. How does it feel to just be back up in Ohio playing alongside Tegra and playing in your home city? Oh, uh, it feels good. Um, to be coming in week in, week out, doing what we got to do on defense, just playing ball. It feels good to be playing alongside Tegra and Alex, though, just getting dubs week after week. I mean, how, how, do, how do you take it when, I mean, people know coming in the game that you're the best corner, you're going to lock down one side, so you don't get much action. What are you working on? What are you just trying to do every week when you know you're not going to get that many passes your just way? Technique, te technique, technique, technique. Week in, week out, start at practice, though. I break practice technique and then translate to the game. I know I'm going to be limited chances, but the chances I do get, I got to make best of them. And just technique, that's all I focus on, my technique. I know you're new to this team, obviously, but how much of a role are you taking on to sort of help those younger guys and guide them? Because I know you're a pretty vocal guy and just trying to be a leader. Uh, with the young guys and them looking at me, I just got to do everything right. That's how I feel. I just feel like I not a lot of pressure, but just, you know, being the top dog and, you know, just doing everything right all the time, just leading by example. We got your guy Alex that we'll talk to you after this, but is there a better cornerback duo in the state of Ohio than Alex Safari nah, and Jair Brown? Not at all. It, it, it's over. <laughs> How, how much pride, how much confidence are you guys taking in, coming in, locking down opposing passing games and getting those interceptions, getting those pick sixes? Man, it's, like I said, it's part of practice. We get out of each other at practice. Like, we make each other better. I'm yelling at him, he yelling at me. He's just getting better all around. You're the first guy I've gotten to talk to post post the decision of the Big Ten coming back this fall. What was it like when you heard the news and finally got to hear that Ohio uh, State would be playing this fall? I was excited, but I, I kind of knew because I was talking to coaches and stuff, but uh, I was really excited and happy for them dudes. You know, they real blessed. It's like how we blessed to play ball. Uh, I mean, obviously, September 1st has passed, so you've been able to talk to Coach Combs and all those guys up there directly since then. What's your relationship like? How much has it grown even since that period of time? Man, it's getting stronger and stronger. Like, before that, before they could even contact me, it was strong, you know, by me just calling them. But now it's just picking up, and it's got real strong, and it's just family over there. I mean, this is the same thing with Tager. Obviously, you play with him. CJ's up the road in Dayton. You got a ton of other guys in Ohio, and then the class is slowly building. What's your relationship like with the other four or five guys in the class? Um... With me, Tag, and CJ, and we all in a group chat, so we just be talking. It's not even about football. It's just building a relationship, joking all the time, and just sometimes it's about football, just stuff like that. We just building a relationship. Who are those other guys? Because I know I feel I know a name that you're gonna mention. You mention them every time. But who are those guys that you're still recruiting, trying to get to Ohio State? Uh, definitely Alex Safari, but you already know Jacoby Matthews from uh, Louisiana, number one safety, number one athlete in the country now, <laughs> the whole world. So just getting out to him, try to focus on getting him that Odo. That's all that is. How how is your relationship, with guys, with like Bennett Christian, Disson McCall, the guys that are out of state that you don't? I mean, you probably haven't got to meet in person before. Uh, we talked before. We don't really talk as much, but we talked before. We follow each other on social media and stuff like that. And every, whatever, all the chances we get, we just holler at each other from time to time, check on how we're doing. That's it. I mean, you're four and zero, one of the top ranked teams in the state. What's the goal for the season? Uh, state championship. That's it. How important is that? I mean. I mean, you won one last year in Louisiana. How important is it you just continue to be a winner? And I know because I know lost that's something that's the value. Lost one, but I lost two actually. But it's just getting there and just gotta finish the job this year. That's what I'm gonna focus on a lot and preach on them guys. Just focus and uh, finish the job. Are you and Tegra planning to watch the first Ohio State game the other when they come back? Of course. 